Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today and I'm gonna show all my witchy things, my altar. I basically have my altar on a shelf and I just love it to pieces. These are things I've collected over the last few years. I think it just looks really magical and I just love it. So yeah, hopefully watching this video today you will get some ideas on things to add to your altar or to add to your room or your home to just give it more of a witchy vibe, things you can collect. Hopefully this gives you some ideas or at least you can just have a little nosy and what I've got on my altar. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show is this dream catcher I've got, and it's this amazing green color. If you know me, over this last year, green has become my favorite color. I just think it's so natural, it's so nature, it reminds me of grass and trees and forests, nature in general, Mother Earth, so I love it. And, and it actually has little stones and beads and whatnot on the feathers. It's just, it's just stunning, and then it's got a little bead in the middle here. So it's just a beautiful colour and it's stunning and it just perfectly goes. Yeah, I love that. And that's the first thing that I've got as part of my witchy shelf altar. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is all my crystals. So when it comes to my crystals, I have a video all about them and their properties and everything. So if you want to know them in detail and every particular crystal I've got, then definitely go and check that video out. But basically, this is where I store all my crystals. Perfect little shelf thing to put crystals in because I had like a little tray thing that I put crystals in, but I can never actually see them. And so this way I can actually see them on my shelf and see them together and I just think it's really cute. New crystals since I did my crystal video. So I'll just briefly show them now. So this here is some moonstone. This is the second piece of moonstone I've ever gotten. I've got a piece of moonstone that I keep in my car because my car's kind of like, kind of hippie, cosmic -y. I've got a couple of cosmic related crystals in my car. This is another crystal that I got actually from a seller on Etsy. I ordered like, a beaded dangly crystal thing to put on my rearview mirror. It's beautiful and it's green. Um, and so with that she put in this crystal and it is some tiger's eye. I don't think I'll ever do it justice. And this is some clear quartz. I already have some clear quartz that my sister got me. But this is in the form of a dragon's egg. I just think they look really cool. And I believe this is just kind of raw amethyst. And it's sparkles amazingly. I think someone painted maybe a bit of gold sparkle on it just to make it pop a little bit extra but they are stunning. But it's yeah, it's an entire piece so I absolutely love that and it perfectly fits into each other and then when you open it it's just stunning. It's just beautiful so I keep that on my shelf and it looks stunning. I have both parts at different ends of my shelf. So yeah, and obviously if you've seen my crystal video, you will see that I've got a crystal ball. It has this like little crystal thing to just sit on. Makes my shelf look a lot more witchier, obviously handy to use. I just love it to pieces. I always wanted a crystal ball because they always intrigued me. So yeah, I absolutely love this to pieces. So yeah, there's a quick overview of my crystals, my new crystals and everything that I've got in that section. But yeah, let's move to my jars now. I went to the beach last summer and I collected all sorts of bits. So I've got a little jar here of mini tiny seashells and they're so cute and they look really pretty in there. And I've also got a little jar of sand and that's what that looks like. I've got a jar here of dried leaves that I've collected and I collected these last autumn. They look really good. And at the bottom, I have some sunflower seeds. I just didn't have anywhere to put them. I wanted to do a jar of like seeds or something, but I don't have a lot of seeds. So yeah, that'll be like a future um, thing that I do. But yeah, some dried leaves in this one that I absolutely love. Got some dried petals. So they are just stunning and beautiful. Some jars in here with things that I don't have as much stuff in, like the least, I guess, interesting ones, I guess you could say. But in this jar here, I've got some crystal chips, just some really tiny crystal chips. I've got some amethyst ones, some rose quartz ones, some citrine ones, and so that's where they all live. And then in my other jar, I've got some seawater, and it's 
technically moon water as well so yeah so yeah those are all my jars it has really upgraded my altar my witchy shelf whatever you want to call it by having jars of bits of nature i think bringing nature into your little witchy collection just really upgrades it and it's just nice to look at like those jars are so pretty and once you've got them and once you've um, made your jar it's done and it just it looks stunning so yeah let me know which jar is your favorite and anything you'd like to collect in the future if you're wondering where i got the jars as well i got them from amazon okay so next i'm going to talk about some witchy books so the first books i've got is my own books and that is my book of shadows and my book of spells this is my book of shadows i have a video on my channel all about my book of shadows so you can see exactly what i've put in here I haven't really updated it since I last showed that. I've not really had much to write in it since then. That's my book of shadows. Definitely go and check out that video if you wanna see what is in here. So I actually have a video showing off all the rest of these books. So you can check out that video as well if you wanna check it out. And I read all the, you know, the blurbs and the index and everything so you can really see what's inside. Have a witchy kind of section on my YouTube channel so you can go and find all those videos together which is really easy and handy. But I'll just briefly show the books that I've got. And so this is the Green Wiccan Spell Book and this is just so handy for like quick spells. They have like stars on the top of them to kind of show how hard each one is. It's really handy depending on what mood you're in, how much time you've got, how much energy you feel that you've got, that kind of thing. So you can find the right spell for what you need and it's got different sections on depending on what kind of spell you want. Next, I've got this beautiful book called The Witch's Way and this talks about spellcraft, nature magic, divination, um, all different types of witches and it explores them all and everything and it just talks about the meaning of herbs, the meaning of flowers, it's literally everything you could ever want to know as a witch and this is one of the most perfect books for a beginner and it goes in depth into everything and you can really explore who you want to be as a witch, what path you want to take, what type of witch you want to be, everything like that and it just looks stunning on my shelf and I love it to pieces. The next book I've got is called The Mystical Year. This is about folklore, magic and nature and this basically shows you every month of the year, every Sabbath, every holiday, animal or scent or moon, crystal and the flower and everything that's connected with that month, season and everything. It's just fantastic. So if you want to write a spell for a particular month or if you want to really connect yourself in with that part of the season or the month or everything it just tells you all about every part of the year like in a witchy year in a witchy sense really connects you with the wheel of the year so yeah i love this beautiful book as well and this is a fantastic book as well this is called the power of crystal healing change your energy and live a high vibe life so if you're someone who loves collecting crystals but has no idea what crystals are right for them or if they have a bunch of crystals but they don't know what to use for a particular um, mood or vibe or anything this will just really show you all about crystals everything you need to know just everything about crystals you could possibly ever want to know is all in here and it's just beautiful it tells you about your vibrations it tells you about your different areas of your body um, where to put them it tells you just generally all about every crystal as well so it is a fantastic book. And the last book is Spells for Peace of Mind. This is probably the book I actually use the most because I struggle a lot with anxiety and this has just been amazing. So it says how to conjure calm and overcome stress, worry and anxiety. It tells you so much about well-being and just, it's just fantastic. It talks about forest bathing, it talks about how to have calmer, witchier baths, it talks about perfect crystals to have around your home to keep you calm, things you can do to have a calmer, healthier relationship, it talks about every um, star sign and things that are related to them and everything. It's, it basically shows you in every aspect of your life how to experience it in a calmer, more peaceful way and it's just, it's just a fantastic book. And I. I use it all the time, it's just fantastic. So yeah, those are all the books that I have on my shelf. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about 
tarot cards. The first tarot card pack I ever got was this Celestial Tarot pack. I decided to put it in this black pouch because it reminded me of like the night sky. It's all celestial themed, all the backs have these like blue starry sky on them. They are beautiful. It goes really in depth into the meanings of the tarot cards but also connected to celestial bodies and it's just a fantastic pack so yeah I saw them in this little black pouch. The other pack of tarot cards I've got is the Harmony Tarot and put this in this purple organza bag um, because it's all like purpley pinky and it's just beautiful. I've got a video where I show all of this pack out where I unboxed it and I looked at all the cards and all the illustrations and everything. It's just beautiful. And the guidebook is so easy to use. It explains everything beautifully. The card is just beautiful and the pack is beautiful. It's just stunning, so yeah. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about incense. This is where I put my incense when I'm burning it. It's very beautiful. It's just got some stars on it. I very rarely use incense and it's not good to burn incense around any animals or pets or anyone like that. It's just, it's not good. It's not good for their breathing or anything. Um, so I only tend to do it when I'm home alone and I've got maybe a window open or, you know, there's like airflow basically. I tend to use it a lot more in summer because I can open all the windows and stuff. But yeah, that is my incense. But yeah, I just want to show off some candles I've got. So these are two witchy candles I got at HomeSense last autumn when they bring out the more sort of Halloween um, autumn candles. So these are the two that I've got. They're so pretty. Um, so I've got this one that says Mystic Oracle Smoked Vanilla. And if you know me, you know that I love the smell of vanilla. It just looks beautiful. And it's got this like sun and moon here. It just looks pretty. And then it's got this crow on the top with some stars. I think it looks pretty. The other one I've got says Black Potion, which is spell. And then it's got some like ingredients of what's in the candle and the kind of scent and everything. And it looks like a witch's potion. The thing with these two candles is that they're so pretty. I don't know if I'll ever burn them. They're just more so aesthetically to be on my shelf. But yeah, I think they definitely enhance my shelf. But as well as those candles, I actually have this, which is a little cauldron and it's got a little pentagram on the front, if you can see that properly. Um, so when you lift the lid off, it's got a little airy for a tea light. So it's, it's honestly beautiful and it looks so cool when it's lit tend to burn a candle in here every Sabbath and that's just like a little ritual I do every Sabbath, every holiday, I just like my little tea light in here and it definitely adds to the witchiness on the shelf. So yeah. The last thing that I want to talk about that I put on my shelf is usually just something um, that I found on the ground in nature. For example, I've had this leaf on my shelf for a good few months now and I found this on the ground probably back in maybe August, September kind of time and it's just nicely stayed up and I just love it and um, so yeah whenever I find little bits of nature I just put them on my shelf and over time they just dry out. I put little bits of flowers, little leaves. I just enjoy collecting little bits of nature that I feel connected to like a leaf that I think is really pretty or a flower that's fallen to the ground or whatever it is. I just I love collecting bits of nature. So yeah, that is everything I keep on my altar slash witchy shelf. Let me know if there's any other witchy videos you'd like to see me do. If you like this video, please give it a like and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.